Hey everyone, welcome to Car Review. Today we're going to do a no spoiler review of the movie Homefront. So let's get into it. So, Homefront is this Jason Statham led action movie, and it essentially follows the story of his character, who is a former DEA agent who wants to settle down, have a nice quiet life with uh, his daughter, but of course he moves into this small town and gets roped into. The crime and violence there. The crime and violence being uh, the drug scene, and there's the, there's these drug dealers and this type of uh, you know kingpin type character who orchestrates the entire drug manufacturing and distribution, and he gets involved in that, and he has to you know put a stop to and protect his daughter at the same time. And uh, you know I love Jason Statham, and I actually really enjoy the cast of the movie a lot. This movie has a lot of heavy hitters. It's got Jason Statham, of course. It's got James Franco from uh, the Spider-Man trilogy by Sam Raimi. And it has Clancy Brown, who I mean has been in a number of, of uh, amazing movies and television shows. I mean, these are, you know, genuine heavy hitters. And it's also written by uh, Sylvester Stallone. I mean, he is, you know, sly. He is uh, rocky, you know, and he alone is, you know, a heavyweight. So, I mean, there's a lot of talent behind the movie, but... Uh, ultimately, the movie is kind of a B-plus action movie, something that you will find only on a streaming service or in a DVD bin, like a $5 Walmart-type bin. And uh, it kind of came and it went, I guess, when it came out in 2013, because I don't remember hearing anything about it, and I've been a huge film fan for years who tries to see a lot of movies in the theater. But despite it being kind of quiet and maybe not being fully recognized, uh, by wider audiences. I, I hope now that it is on streaming services, it will get a second uh, you know, shot at life because I enjoyed it for what it is. Um, and I did see it on Netflix. It was actually recommended to me by a friend. And uh, uh, the movie is good. It's nothing great, um, but I would further recommend it to other people based off of what it is. Um, my gripes with the movie, though, are that for it being short it's less than two hours in fact i think with credits and all it comes in at 140 and so for actual movie you're looking at 135 uh, so just about 90 minutes the movie spends too much time in the setup phase it, it it builds and builds and builds and there's really no payoff and the movie might get out of the build-up phase early on but it doesn't feel that way. In fact, the entire time I was watching the movie, I was wondering, when is this climactic showdown going to happen? When is the rubber going to meet the road? When are we really going to see Jason Statham, you know, just, you know, clean and dudes? When are we just going to see him go crazy and nuts and be this, you know, protective father who has, you know, this skill set? And you see bits of that throughout the movie. But as I was watching and I realized... There's not much of this left, and we've already seen a little bit of action. Maybe there won't be a giant, you know, showdown. And I think ultimately, you know, for it being uh, marketed as an action movie, and Jason Statham is an action star. In fact, he is very uh, action-centric himself. He is a trained martial artist, and he loves doing his own stunts, but they just didn't give him enough to do. His character is fine, and the movie's written well enough and it looks great and I and I like the entire premise of it it's very interesting but uh there's it's as vast as an ocean but as deep as a puddle because they just don't dive in deep enough into into really the talent that they have available um I really like James Franco and I really like Clancy Brown and I love Jason Statham like I said but um the the stuff that they're given just it isn't fleshed out in fact this movie probably should have been longer um you know, given a few minutes in, in the beginning, a few minutes in the middle, and a, f and a few minutes at the end, I feel that stretching it out just a little more would have given it more of an emotional impact. Maybe you could have had uh, more action sequences because uh, it is interesting, but entertainment-wise, entertainment it's it's not great. I mean, it is a B movie, and, and I think, you know, it's, it's not going to go down as as one of Statham's top 10 or anything. Um, but it is it is right on the cusp of being a B-plus type movie, but it's just, it's not great. It's good, it's good, but it really could have been better. And had they focused a little more on 
on, again, utilizing the tools in their toolbox instead of just kind of opening the toolbox, showing they have the tools, and then closing it, um, I think it would have been a lot better, and I think I could have recommended it more. Uh, do check it out, though, if you are looking for a, if you're looking for a good time and a moderately good action movie, something you can just eat while you're watching or have some popcorn, which is what I did. Again, I just watched it at my home, and it was great, but definitely uh, taper those expectations a little bit, and, uh, and uh, yeah, so it it is fun, and, and, and that, but uh, again, if you expect John Wick level of action, you're not gonna you're not gonna get it, you know. So just know what you're getting when you when you uh, begin this movie. But anyway, that is my review of Homefront. If you like this video, comment, share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, peace.